Hello, everyone. Today, I'm here to tell you about... Whoa! What is this? I think I've stepped on a sea urchin. Lucky it was a small one. Well, back to what I was going to explain. The first group I'm going to tell you about is called echnoderms. Do you know what kind of animals they are? I'll explain it to you. Echnoderms are exclusively marine animals. They move about very slowly on the seabed, thanks to their tiny tube feet. This starfish, for example, has tiny tube feet and a mouth at the lower surface of its body. The body of the sea urchin is covered with movable spines. Whoa! Did you see that? Look at those spines! Watch out for them or you'll get stung. Sea cucumbers and sea lilies are also in the echnoderms group. These animals are so much fun! Do you want to hear something really interesting about them? Did you know that when a starfish loses one of its legs, a new one will grow in its place? There's another group of invertebrates I want to tell you about today. Sponges! Sponges have bodies full of pores. Many sponges are soft and smooth, but others can be hard and rough. They only live in the sea and the oceans, and they attach themselves onto rocks and reefs. Sponges can't actually swim. That's why, for many years, we thought they were plants instead of animals. Do you know why? Sponges can't make their own food like plants do. They use their pores to feed on plankton and tiny particles of bacteria in the water. Did you know that sea sponges have been used for centuries for washing and bathing? That's all about echnoderms and sponges. I'm going back to my swim. See you around. Do you want to keep on learning? Try for free our Smile and Learn platform for a month and enjoy all of our games, videos, and interactive stories. Go for it. Download Smile and Learn on your mobile, tablet, or PC.